Hello everybody and welcome to the 2023 Flossy Cat Minecraft Shorts compilation. So I've taken all the shorts that I've made from this year and just compiled them into this one video. And so um, this video took a lot of time to make, but mostly because I was, it, you know, took all year. So I guess this is the most effort I've ever put into a YouTube video. So yeah, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you see some videos in here that like are not on my shorts channel, don't go bother for look, looking for them because I probably just deleted them. Sometimes I'll like take down videos if they're not like getting any views or if you guys don't like them. So you might be able to see some secret content that's like not even real, like technically like my content. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know how you would consider that. Make sure to if you want to just like watch this whole thing just for fun, give it a shot. It'll give me some uh, some stats and stuff on YouTube. You know how the YouTube algorithm is. They need that watch time. And so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, make sure to leave a like, it'll help boost this video because it might not do that well because a lot of people are just not going to watch it. And I'll be putting a poll on my community channel like the day that this comes out asking like what kind of content that you guys want to see from my short channel in the future. Like, Do you guys want to see like more clutches, like maybe like commentary shorts or like more skits and stuff? I don't know. So watch this video so you can see like all of them and then let me know in the comments which one you like best. Anyway, uh, that's all for me, and enjoy the video. Crystal PvP is the future of PvP. I've been studying Crystal PvP for the, for the past 10 months, and I have learned a great deal from it. I have learned that if you hit yourself on the legs, that does actually more damage than on your... I don't know why that is, but I'm a trained professional. I know what I'm talking about. As you can see, this is in Crystal Clutching. It was a thing that was invented. In Crystal PvP, it's the most useful PvP. It can kill a player in one hit unless they have a total number blind, which they usually do. And so it's the best PvP. So I play a lot of Cubecraft Sky Wars, and Cubecraft Sky Wars has trap chests, but trap chests actually explode. So I thought, what if I use this to my advantage? Alright guys, we're about to drop on this map right now. I hope we're gonna be able to beat this guy. Beat this guy. We're just gonna see if we can rush this guy as fast as possible. Let's go. Where are these guys? We got him guys. Alright, we're, we're the best in the world. Let's see if we can go over there and, and get this next one. What?
gotta hit this clutch for my YouTube video. Come on, we gotta be able to do this. It was at this moment that he knew. Minecraft, but I can't touch the color green. Alright, so we just spawned in. So today I was playing some Minecraft and I accidentally placed an ice block and, the, and there was like, oh, let's break it. And then some water started flowing and I was like, oh, I don't want water to start flowing, so let's place an ice block. But I don't want this block to be here, you know, it kind of sticks out, so I decided to break it. And it started flowing some water. And I was thinking, you know what, I don't really like this, so I decided I'm going to place an ice block. And then when I broke the ice block... I just found the most dangerous Minecraft seed. When you spawn in, you're like, I'm in, I'm in water right now. So if I have AFK for long enough, without even moving in this Minecraft world, I'm already drowning. Which means that technically right now, since I have started moving, and speedrunning only start when you start moving, that I just got the dying Minecraft world record. my new shoes they're the brand new one two buckle my shoe three four buckle some more five six nike kicks oh that is so fire i was trapped in a bedrock box in minecraft with no way to escape i thought that i was trapped in here forever since there was nothing out there and i had nothing i could do but then i realized I could escape this prison with prison with no items in my inventory, and it's a very simple trick. All I needed to do was log off. Oh, we got it! Let's go.
it was at this moment that he knew. Minecraft, but I can't touch waxed oxidized cut copper stair. Oh my stair. gosh, what are the chances of this spawn, guys? Fortunately, we spawned on normal copper stairs, and there are copper stairs right there. I just have to pick them up. Oh! Alright, we made it to the village. We are about to find that blacksmith. Okay, where is it? Getting a little impatient now. I need the blacksmith, come on. Okay, where is it at? I'm actually getting annoyed. This video needs to end. It's a YouTube short for crying out loud. Oh my gosh, we got diamonds. I don't know how I'm gonna save myself. <laughs> First try, let's go. That was literally my second attempt. Thousands of people will hear you, so just uh, be aware of that. Oh, I did it! I saw that. I was there. Oh, subscribe to T Dog One Two Two. See y'all later. Oh, 
let's go.
easy. All right, you guys will not believe today's crazy story. So I was at the store and there was this lady and she was like, whoa, 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 wait, where am I? Why you keep on using the same parkour background? Who, every who are you? Time? Can't you show literally anything else? It's just to keep something on screen to hold people's attention spans for a little bit That's longer. the problem. People don't have the attention span to watch a 30 second video. What a crazy story, am I right? As you all know, 1.20 Minecraft came out a month ago. So being a true Minecraft player, I decided to ask a lot of my Minecraft YouTuber friends what they thought was gonna happen at 1.21. So here are their responses. I personally would like to see a new Skulk dimension in the new 1.21 update, but I think Mojang's probably gonna update the overworld somehow or update the end. My predictions for 1.21 is that there's gonna be most likely an end or nether update. Do the update that deletes the game. Desert!
bruh.
Oh man, my villager trading hall is almost complete. I just need to get this guy in this little cage right here. Let me turn on hitboxes so I know how to break the book. <laughs> We need to get this man away from our children. He's a terrorist. He's got him in a boat. Everyone, everything will be okay. Just calm down. Oh no, he's coming back. Okay, he's crossing the line. He's taking away our jobs. Give us them back. He's stealing jobs and giving them to other people that don't deserve it. Oh, it's a terrorist attack! What's going on up there? No, it's over! Ah. 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 Ha 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 ha
this is how you mine a Minecraft tree. Spoiler alert, it might be more complex than you think. First of all, make sure that your hotbar slot is always switched to the ninth one to make sure that the log doesn't swap to the first one and reset your mining cycle. Second of all, there's actually a little tip used by speedrunners that can increase your mining a little bit if you keep on doing it persistently. You can do this by tapping the ground a little bit before you actually start mining. This will basically prepare Minecraft for the mining process. Whether then lastly, Besides just make doing sure it you always stand on the top of the log and know where your crosshair is going before you mine. And then after the point six three seconds that it takes to obtain an item, make sure to always hotkey to the um, correct slots to craft. And so now you know that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh? Huh?